Hamas has been sending missiles into Israel dozens after dozens after dozens and at a certain point you have to fight back you can't let your, your citizens be attacked and we are here to support whatever Israel chooses to do in order to defeat this terror. How do you feel about the way the mainstream press is depicting the conflict? Well. I'm not the least bit surprised because they are liberal and liberals will invariably side with evil over good. And there's a reason for it and it's very simple. The press has been raised to believe they should be neutral. Well, if there's no difference between the Palestinians and the Jews, if their cultures are the same, then why would the Palestinians be bombing Israel? Israel must have done something, something. But what, what did Israel do? Well, they didn't do anything, but they have to be, they have to invent something. So they'll look down the list and they can't find anything the Jews did. So they'll look and they'll look and they'll find, aha, the Jews built a house in Jerusalem. So it must be because the Jews are, have settlers. It must be because the Jews are building houses. Something must have provoked the Palestinians. Because if they weren't provoked, then they want peace too. So why would they bomb? What's the connection between the jihad we're fighting in Afghanistan and what Israel's fighting in uh, Gaza? Well, they're one and the same. Islam doesn't think in terms of countries, in terms of nations. It's all Islam fighting the infidels. So they are killing the infidels in Afghanistan, they're killing the infidels in, 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 in Egypt, they're killing the infidels in the Sudan, they're killing the infidels in Israel. Um, how has Obama's Middle East policy affected uh, Hamas's willingness to uh, launch a fight? Well, he's encouraged them, almost in the same way to tie in two stories, that all the children who are now being uh, held at the border and across the border. It's the, he's encouraged the wrongful behavior by signaling to Hamas and saying point blank that he's going to tie the hands of the Jews. And if you want to kill the Jews, now is the time. During an Obama administration is the time to kill Jews. That's what he tells Hamas. How do you feel about the way Obama is uh, helping his ally, Benjamin Netanyahu? Well, I, I think you're being a tad sarcastic when you say helping his ally. Uh, Obama and Netanyahu are, are not close. In fact, they're antagonists because, again, Obama is siding with the Islamists. It's Obama across the board. Look at every single war that he has had a finger in uh, since his administration. He opposed the Democratic uprising in Iran that would have eliminated the Islamists and put in place a democracy that would have likely been friendly towards America. So he sided with the enemy against the he did the same thing in Honduras where he held a where he sided with a left wing coup to overthrow a, Demo, a democratic ally and time and time and time and again Obama has come down on the side of America's enemies over those who might well have been our friends. How much of this rally do you think uh, is about the uh, Jewish American outrage against uh, the, the White House policies. I, I think it's uh, the perfect storm. It's the two things. It's Hamas and, and the bombs and the war and the things that we know Netanyahu and Israel have to now do to protect their children at the same time with an enemy of Israel in the White House. So it's the combination of the two that, that, that got what, what I understand is, is somewhere close to 2,000 people to turn out in Los Angeles on a sunny day. That's not easy to do. Now, who's across the street there? What, well, what, what, three what corners. Up? Three corners are us. We have spilled over. We, the, the streets weren't able to hold us. We had to cross the street and then cross the street again. On the fourth corner is a handful of Palestinians and Palestinian supporters who who are here to counter protest. They they want to support the murder of Jews, while we are here to support the the land of the free and the home of the brave, number two, Israel. But who, who's there with the Palestinians? I, I'm sure there are left-wing academics, I'm sure there are idiot children, who, uh, school kids, who don't know any better than what their, what their hateful academics teach them. Are there Marxists and socialists there? I'm sure there are, thank you. Yes, I'm sure there are Marxists, there are socialists, there, that's what I meant by the academics and the professors, that's what I, was the left-wing, whether it's all the way from the Marxists and the socialists, to the communists. What's the connection between the Marxist far left and the Islamists? Well, it's the old expression, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and the Islamists are the enemy of America, and the communists are the enemy of America, the Marxists are the enemy of America. They both want to eliminate this in order to create their utopia. 
the difference then, once we're eliminated, is their utopias are two different things. And of course, the, the leftists and the liberals and the Marxists and the communists would be the first ones the Islamists would kill.